Good morning, it's uh, Friday and last Friday we did a hydrangea standard video, how to trim a limelight tree form hydrangea. And uh, that sparked a lot of questions that we receive all the time about endless summer hydrangea or big leaf hydrangea uh, in the macrophylla group. So these are the stubborn ones that, especially a few winters ago, we had two hard winters in a row. And this type of hydrangea, unlike the limelight that blooms on its new growth, this hydrangea flowers on the previous year's wood, the old growth from last year. When you get a hard winter, you'll get some dieback on this type of hydrangea because it tends not to be as hardy as the Incredibles and the limelights of the world. And you'll lose the budwood and that's why people are saying, hey, how come my hydrangea is not blooming? The other thing that happens is that people prune them back too hard. They'll cut them back like an Annabelle and then they've cut all this blooming wood away for the following year. So a hard winter or improper pruning will get rid of the budwood. The plant will still be fine. The hydrangea will come up with new growth and it'll be, it'll be okay. You won't lose the plant, but you won't get any flower production. So the question is always, how do I prune my endless summer or my macrophylla, my large, large leaf hydrangea? Well, you'll get into a bit of a cycle. And once you understand your hydrangea that you have, you'll realize that it's not that hard. This is a young plant, so there's not a lot of old wood. Typically you'll start and it'll be kind of a, a gray color. You'll notice there'll be some old wood that dies off. So this hydrangea is constantly replacing itself. So you'll get some old dead wood in there. It's kind of a silver gray color. That's the first thing you do in the spring of 2021 is cut that out. After that, what I like to do, these are all the, the bloom producing wood here. Uh, so I'll just clean things up a little bit and then I'll look at, okay, well, what's going to produce my flowers next year? So it's this wood right here. And I typically just take a third of this off so that I keep the plant compact and yet leave enough bud producing wood to have a nice floral show next spring. I still want this to be tidy and neat in the garden. Typically endless summer can get up to four feet tall. So I want to rain it back a little bit so it looks nice in the garden. So dead wood out and then trim back by one third and your endless summer will be fine. Some of this crossing wood, again, we take that out and really that's all there is to it. And then the other trick that I do, if we think we're gonna have a hard winter and we never know, is I'll take leaves and I'll mound it up with leaves in the fall and that'll provide some insulation. Sometimes you'll get some dieback to the leaf cover, but you'll still have bud producing wood that's available for next year. So that's Endless Summer, uh, our macrophylla group hydrangea. And uh, I think once you understand the simple principles, you'll be more successful with more flowers next spring. Is there anything you can do to get back the blooms uh, after once, you've pruned it too much? No, no. So if you pruned it improperly or we get a hard winter, uh, you won't have any flowers next year, but the plant will be fine. And you'll also notice next year, there'll be a lot of new growth that comes from the base of this plant that is setting itself up for 2022 so okay. it's always working ahead cool thank you so much hopefully Jeff. that helps send me yep. any questions you have have a great day thanks